Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is wednesday february 23rd 2022 scholars let's get ready for our brain break segment just beginning with a nice big deep breath breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth so eyes open a soft focus. As you breathe out, you can allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. But just keep the eyes open for a moment. Now, let's go to Word of the Day. Hey, Julie. Why do you look so sad? Oh, hey, David. Well, my application for my dream school just got rebuffed. Mm, well, don't worry. Any school will be lucky to have you. Mm, thanks. But you're not going to ask me what rebuff means? <laughs> no. This time, I actually know what it means. Rebuff means to reject or turn down something. Oh, wow. You're learning more and more every day. Yep. I'm just glad I was able to make you happy. Well, thanks for that. See, See you next, next time on Word, Word of the day. day. Now, let's go to Chanel for today's Black History Month segment. Thanks, Peyton. Hey, Patriots. Today in Black History, we're going to talk about Martin Luther. Martin Luther King Jr. was born January 15, 1929. Martin was an American Baptist minister and a civil rights activist. He worked hard to accomplish greater equality in America, causing the march on Washington and his famous speech, I Have a Dream. After Martin's speech, Congress moved faster to pass the Civil Rights Act. In 1964, the bill was passed. Martin Luther will always be an important part of black history. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Chanel. Sports fans, in some sports, women's equality is a constant struggle. Sumo, the national sport of Japan, is an ancient form of wrestling that dates back more than a thousand years. It is also one of the last male-dominated sports where girls are wrestling their way in. Their opportunities to train and compete are limited in Japan. So many girls have to train in regular martial arts and by sparring against both boys and girls. There are now only two tournaments held in Tokyo, and although efforts to add sumo to the Olympics stalled years ago, a lot of people think that adding women and girls to the sport professionally will be the key to having it recognized as an Olympic sport. With sumo practice, anyone can achieve anything. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is bean and cheese burrito, crunchy vegetables, fruit, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. But we'll eat. Let's go back to Payton. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, let's get ready for our Black History Show experience. This is a story of resistance, resilience, and revolution. The parent show is tonight and the student show is tomorrow. It starts at 6.30 p.m. I'm sure it's going to be great. It's time to show how we feel about black history. Today you can sing your favorite R&B song and tomorrow you can read a book that celebrates Black History Month. I can't wait to hear all the great songs. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Patriots, the book fair is here. Take a look at the schedule to see when you can go. I am sure you will find a book to your liking. Lastly, Patriots, boys' baseball tryouts will be held this Thursday, February 24, 2022, at 4 p.m. And girls' flag football trial today is not yet set, so stay tuned for an update. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Peyton. Hey, Patriots. 
It looks like today's weather will be a high of 81 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Looks like a good time to get some popsicles. In other weather news, have you ever experienced a fire devil? Also known as a fire tornado. These mostly occur in wildfires and bushfires. These tornadoes start as a normal vortex, but then suck in and mix with gases and combustible materials. The temperatures of the fire devils can reach over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit, and if you look closely inside of it, sometimes they can form a mini fire world. Now let's go to Destiny for today's birthdays. Thank you, Andy. Today's birthday boys are Zerio Joseph and Isani Arana. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, last week we had a fraternity step group meeting with middle school students. Let's check out this interview and some highlights. Well, what is it like being in a fraternity? Um, being in a fraternity is definitely interesting, you know. Aside from, you know, the fun stuff that we do, the stepping, the strolling, uh, we do a lot of community service and a lot of just work. So it's it's interesting to say the least that it definitely uh, takes up your time. Mm -hmm. I would say the three things that kind of describe being in a fraternity for me is brotherhood, know, educational, know, and honesty. Because, uh, like I said, we do a lot of things so together. Um, I, we learn from each other and we're able to hold each other accountable. Yeah, being in a fraternity is like, um, it's, 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 there's a lot of love in it because uh, the brotherhood we take like very seriously and the people that we meet in our fraternity, we know them for the rest of our lives. So we really do like it. How much experience do you have with stepping and when did you start? Um, I actually have a, a good amount of experience with stepping. I started stepping in high school, um, so I, I definitely have a good amount of experience. Um, man, I've been stepping since sixth grade. Over probably over over eight years for sure. Over eight years. Of for me, I started stepping late until I didn't start stepping until I got into the fraternity. So probably like five years ago, maybe. Yeah, something okay. like that. Okay. And our last question: um, What is your favorite thing about stepping? Um, I would definitely say the the coordination, the movements, how like we're all one. You know, when you're stepping, like, if you take, for example, our favorite thing to say is when you stop a video and you take a picture, everyone looks exactly the same. The same movement, the same clothes, everything, the face, everything looks exactly the same. Energy. I like energy. I'm big on high energy. So I like the, uh, when, like, the whole energy aspect, because I think, I think energy is transferable. So, like, when we go hard, the crowd, you know, they love it. So. My biggest thing is the reaction after we step, especially if you do a good job. You'll the crowd will let you know if you do a good job or a bad job really quickly. <laughs> so I probably think the crowd. Yeah. Oh, I love those answers. Well, now it's time for the lightning round questions. Would you rather have powers of strength or invisibility? Invisibility. Invisibility. Ah, uh, strength. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'd rather have strength. Yeah. Okay. Next. White chocolate or milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. White chocolate. Milk chocolate. Mm. Yeah. Wait, I said, I mean, white chocolate. And why? Oh, man. Oh, Lightning <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just prefer milk chocolate. Yeah, yeah I prefer Hershey's milk chocolate. Y'all ever had Hershey cookies and cream? Yeah. yeah. Well, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I guess it's all right. Okay. And then last question, dress shoes or sneakers? Dress shoes. Dress shoes. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. Because, you know, dress like, shoes. I, that's hard for me. I, I love looking clean, but there's, there's always uh, a nostalgia about Jordans. I don't want overdressing. Yeah. I feel like Jordans, you can, like, you can, you can't, I guess you can kind of overdress the Jordan. You could definitely wear a suit with some J's. What type of J? 11s. Yeah. You could definitely wear a suit with some 11s. But they're more comfortable. And that too as well. They're definitely more comfortable. But you could get some pretty good, like, these are some comfortable dress shoes I have on. Oh, long dress shoes, because. <laughs> you want to <laughs> talk? <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Well, thank you for coming. No problem. Thank Anytime. Thank you guys for having us. <laughs> Lightning question for you guys. If you guys can have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, power of mind. Um, intelligence. Uh, invisibility. <laughs> Super speed. I like that. <laughs> speed. Speed. Cool. Yeah, okay, I like cool. that. I like cool. that. I like right. that. Thank you guys for having us. Thank you, having thank you, having you, having you for thank guys. Time to come here. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Problem. What's up? <laughs> Uh, superpower. If you had any, what should it be? I don't know. Um, probably super strength, like the Hulk. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Fearlessness. Oh, okay. Nice. I like that. I like that. That's, That's a good one. That's nice. That's nice. That's for sure. That's a good one. Thank you, guys. No, thank you guys for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. All right. Good. Wow. I love that. 
Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Only and Miss Blanc. You both had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what languages does Shakira speak? The correct answer is English, Spanish, Arabic, French, Italian, and Portuguese. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. Who starts first in chess? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day.